anywhere in the world, we can look up and see blue sky. When we look down, we might see grass, sand, concrete, or water. 70% of the Earth's surface is water, and in it, life thrives in all forms. All life is a careful balance, and predators like bull sharks and tarpon can impact ecosystems through trophic cascades. A trophic cascade is where, when you remove one member of the food web, there's this domino effect that can impact other members or other animals in that food web. Both bull sharks and tarpon are big predators here in, in South Florida in our coastal habitats, and we know very little about them. So we put satellite tags in both tarpon and bull sharks to track their movements and spy on their, their secret lives, see what they're doing and where they're going, and potentially how they interact with one another. And it took me a little while to realize this, that a fish that literally is bigger than I am is prey for something else. And so while the tarpon are migrating along and finding out their prey, the sharks have figured out when the tarpon will arrive. And they love tarpon, you know, as a snack. How could the tarpon avoid the bull shark to get the food it needs? It could hide. It could defend itself. Or it could run away. Our results suggest that tarpon actually may be forfeiting some of the best feeding spots to avoid becoming food themselves to bull sharks. Both bull sharks and tarpon are coastal inshore species, making them particularly vulnerable to human threats like fishing or pollution. And if there's any substantial negative impact on these animals, that may trigger trophic cascades that may ultimately impact other members of the community and even the habitat itself. We all see blue, whether it's looking up at the sky or out at the water. The key is to delve beneath the surface because you cannot protect what you don't understand.